consider a solid hemisphere of radius r radius r let m be the mass of the solid solid hemisphere and let's rho be its density let m be the total mass mass and rho be the density of the hemisphere hemisphere let's draw the x and y axis through the hemisphere let this be our x axis this one the x axis and let this one be the y axis x comma y let us consider let us consider a small circular portion like this let me change the color let this be a small circular portion on the on on the sphere at a distance at a distance let this distance be y y units and let the thickness of that circular portion be dx sorry dy suppose if you draw the circular portion in here it will be like a disc with a thickness with a thickness d dy clear dy this length is equal to dy i'm just marking it in here that is this distance this small thickness is equal to dy suppose the radius in here be small letter r that is this is equal to r or let's call that as x x and we have this distance is equal to radius of the larger sphere and we took already this one as y this one as y we already marked it here right this distance is equal to y so applying Pythagoras theorem you have r square is equal to x square plus y square implies x square is equal to r square minus y square let that equation be one now we have the mass of this circular disk dm is equal to area or volume into density volume of the circular disk time its density but we know volume is equal to area into thickness into then this density clear you have the area since it is a circle the area will be pi r square here it, the radius is x so pi x square thickness is dx so dx into rho so instead of uh, sorry thickness is dy dy into rho instead of instead of x square you can write pi into x square can be written as r square minus y square dy times rho so this is the mass here rho means the density of the density of the whole sphere whole hemisphere clear and now you have the center of mass coordinate of center of mass or the distance of the center of mass from the origin ycm the equation is y dm divided by the whole mass m so substituting the values in here we will get
ycm is equal to ycm is equal to integral y dm is pi into r square minus y square times dy into rho whole divided by mass. So this can be solved as ycm is equal to taking 1 by n out uh, integral you can write this as you can take the pi and rho outside so it will be rho into pi times y into r square is equal to r square y minus y cube dy. Now the y is from this point 0 to the maximum distance here it is y is r so 0 to r so you have to put the limit 0 to r. Now on solving this you will get ycm is equal to 4 times pi by m integral of y is r square times y square by 2 this r is constant so you don't have to take you have you only have to take the take it out and integrate this y minus integral of y cube is y raised to 4 by 4 now you have to put the limit 0 to r that is equal to equal to pi rho divided by m times first the upper limit so r square into y square is equal to r square by 2 minus r raised to 4 divided by 4 so this will be pi rho divided by m into r raised to 4 by 2 minus r raised to 4 by 4. So this will be y c m is equal to pi times rho divided by m into r raised r square by 2 minus r raised to 4 by 4 will be r raised to 4 by 4. Clear. Now, instead of m, you can write the mass of the whole mass of the hemisphere will be that is pi rho into, you know, mass is equal to volume into density. Here, the volume of the hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube into density remains the same. The density, since it is of same material, density of the disk and density of the hemisphere remains the same into r raised to 4 divided by 4. So cancel this row and this row, this pi and pi will get cancelled. This is equal to 3 r raised to 4 divided by 2 into 4 is 8 r cube. You can cancel this r and r raised to r cube and r raised to 4. The final answer will be 3 r divided by 8. So YCM is actually at a distance of 3 by 8 of the radius. Okay, 3 by 8 times R. Clear. Yeah.